Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Um, this video is gonna be all about UCAS and like applying to uni, the factors that you should consider when choosing the right university, all of that, because I know like it's time for like year 13s so people in college, six or whatever, to start applying to different universities. So I'm here to help you because I did this like two years ago and I have some advice and so do my friends because I asked them. So this is basically an advice video and like, tips and hints, like writing personal statement, this, that. So if you're interested in that, carry on watching. Okay, hey, um, so I thought the best way to start this video is basically explaining what is UCAS. UCAS stands for University and College Admis Admission Service. And it's basically, if, if you wanna go to any university in the UK and you wanna study an undergraduate degree, then you have to go through UCAS. Um, depending on what degree you want to study, like what course, depends on like the deadline. So if you want to do like dentistry, ox, you want to go to any course in ox Oxford or Cambridge, or like veterinary science or medicine, you have to apply before a certain time, um, date, I'll find it for you. <laughs> you have to apply before the 15th of October 2019, which is gone. So hopefully you've applied and like you've done all the things you needed to do. But if you're doing like for the majority of the courses, the deadline is the 15th of January 2020. I'm looking at the UCAS website, but you want to double check, don't base everything on my words. But like, given my experience last, not last year, I'm in second year, two years ago when I was applying because I went to sixth form, I studied maths, physics, and product design. And I applied to three UCAS. I applied to, I had five choices. I don't know if it's still the same now, but you had to choose five unis you want to apply to. I applied to Bath um, to study civil um, engineering with architecture. I applied to Manchester to study civil engineering with structure. No, to study structural engineering or something like that. And I applied to um, Southampton to study civil, engineering with architecture with a year in industry. And then I applied to Cambridge to just study engineering. And I applied to one more university, which I just can't remember. So clearly it wasn't that important, but yeah. But since I applied to Cambridge, as I told you, like you had to, if you're applying to Oxford, Cambridge or any medicine degree, you have to send your application earlier than the majority of the courses. So I had to, I sent my application around the 10th of October. Okay, so like before you even come to applying to UCAS, you have to do thorough like thorough um, research on what universities you want to go to and why. It is so important you don't choose your universities purely based on like the ranking or just because it's a Russell group. Like how going to a Russell group uni is great, but it's like, it's not the end of the world if you don't. There's many things that like factor in when you think like you're choosing a university. So like you want to think about the location, the course, just because you see civil engineering in like Southampton doesn't mean it's the same way Surrey or like Bath teaches it. So you want to look at the different modules. I can't stress this enough. You need to read it properly because you can realize for like Southampton, our maths module is self-taught. Like you teach yourself the math module first year. But if you go to Bristol to do like engineering, like they teach, they have actual designated maths lectures. So there's like little things like that that can influence why you want to choose a certain uni. And also like location, like I wanted to be close but not too close to like home to like london so i thought southampton was great but like if you want to do like trekkage like you can go up to leeds or up north and like so location matters and i come to like what's called um what's that thing called tables coming to league tables it's great to see like where civil engineering ranks in like your university or like the top four universities for your degree but then you also want to look at the different categories because there's also like um student satisfaction or like how like there's other things you can look at besides like oh how great is this because like you want to be satisfied you want to see how previous students found going to that uni and study that similar degree was so like those are the things to factor in and oh uh, yeah besides like the course like you're also going to live in that city for like three to four years or even five depending on what course you're doing so you want to look at the city itself you don't just want to look at the course because you're living in that city so you want to know if like is this a big city small city the buses the trains all of that like all these things factor in so i remember when i was actually choosing my university i did not do that much research i only chose southampton because i saw it was fourth on the table and i didn't really count oxford and cambridge because huh, an imperial was just not in my like reach so i was like oh my gosh southampton that's great i can get into this but then i know that's just a bad reason for choosing because i told you not to look at just the league tables but then i came to open days you want to visit your uni before you actually turn up 
to study that course and like the degree because like opening days is very insightful you can actually see the city itself the lecture rooms you're going to be spending most of your time in and the facilities this uni offers you and especially your course or your faculty okay it could be great for medicine but you can come here and you want to do sports and it turns out it only has one sports or while Loughborough has like five so that's another thing so like choosing your uni is very very important and yeah don't waste time with it so once you've chosen your uni, you have like five op options. I We had five options two years ago. I think you still have now, but don't base me on my word. So I chose like Bath, Surrey. I remember it's Surrey University, Bristol. Um, no, Bath, Surrey, Cambridge, Manchester, and Southampton. So I put Southampton as my firm. So you get to have a firm and an insurance. So like a firm is a uni you want to get in if you get this required grade. And insurance is a uni you get into so you don't get your firm. Okay, so I got my firm. Yeah, so I'm in Southampton right now. But like, if, in, if I didn't get my firm, I would drop down to like, what's called Manchester. Not drop down, because Manchester's still a good uni. So now this section is UCAS tips or like application tips. So I have like, I've gathered like multiple tips from other people. So this is just not my thing. This is like from what other people are saying. So it's reliable. Okay, so first thing someone said is like, you want to get your application in as early as possible. I can't stress this enough because I got my application in by like around mid-October. I got most of the majority of my what's called offers by end of November, whereas some people haven't even applied. So like I've got four out of five offers by the time you're now applying. So the earlier you can get your application in, the better. You want to, okay, before you send in your application, you want someone to proofread it, whether that's your favorite teacher, your parent, your best friend, this, that, just to check for spelling errors, just to make sure that everything flows coherently. Like, it's great getting people to proofread it. And you also get like an external perspective because you'll be reading this personal statement like so many times and you won't spot things, but like some sentences might not make sense, some gaps will be missing. So it's great to get a, someone to proofread it. Thirdly, you actually want to make sure that wherever you're applying, you're going to enjoy. Don't just apply to the course just purely for the sake of like your parents' satisfaction or something like that, or just because you love that city. You need to apply to the course because you actually want to spend three to four years of your life doing this degree and actually want to like, because honestly, coming to uni, I realized the amount of people that actually didn't even like, like the course they're studying, like, oh, I can't wait for this three years of hell to be over. But like, that's just making this whole experience long, boring and bad. Like you want to have a positive experience, both like in education and out. So actually apply to a course that you have pure, you have pure interest in. Okay, so another person said, you wanna research employability because what's the point of getting a, a degree if you can't get a job out of it? It is true, but like, that's to like a certain extent. Like, if, it's, if you really like the course, then do it. But like, you have to think about what you wanna do with that degree and like how employable you will be once you've got your degree because it's one thing getting doing, like, what's the point of spending three to four years doing this and then come out to the real world and no one actually wants to take you with your degree? It just, it's just sad. So, like, research employability, research, like, the, the percentage of people who actually get a job after graduating from this specific university. As I said before, with your personal statement, those are the end of the world, but you want to avoid, like, cliche things, like, um, ever since I was, like, in the womb, I knew I wanted to be a medic, I wanted to be a doctor, or, like, ever since the umbilical cord was that, I knew, la, 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 I crossed the bridge and I wanted to be a civil engineer. Like, you want to give, like, better, um, what's called, explanations as to why you are so in love with this course. You want to sell it to the, uh, whatever, whoever's reading your personal statement, you want to sell it to them that this is the course for me, and... You should let me in basically because everyone's crossed the bridge and everyone wants to do just that that okay so you made it to the end of the video i hope this was informative i hope you guys get to the universities you want to or if you're currently in uni enjoy like also like uni is not the only way to go for higher education by the way there's like apprenticeships there's like gap years you could just defer your and like you could apply to ucas and like defer your entry for another year and like actually go in like 2021 so like, there's many options you could do but like i hope you found this video informative and if you do like it please and subscribe to my channel because i need more subscribers because i'm almost at 1k not really i'm 400 subscribers away but like the point is i'm never gonna get to 1k if you guys just keep watching my flipping videos but thank you bye